Welcome everybody, Spencer Kite with Paul Chapman here at Province Sports Studios for the Vancouver Province and the Vancouver Sun with our first edition of Fight Talk Fridays. Facebook dead. F Facebook dead. Um, <laughs> these are the things, I mean, we tried to do it last week, didn't work out last week, some technical difficulties to work through. This is the building process, this is the growing phase of things. Do it hopefully, live. We'll hopefully it live. by next week we'll have it figured out and just a, an update for people in advance, next week Fight Talk Fridays is going to be on Thursday because Chappie's not here on Friday. Well, Remembrance Day. It's Thursday Remembrance it Day. Day. We want to talk about UFC 205. So next Thursday, we will have all of this figured out. It will be up on the Facebook page for the province. Fingers crossed. So we're not able to take any live questions or, or jump on Twitter right now, but we prepped for this a little bit. We went over a couple of things to talk about. The first one is Michael Bisping. So the middleweight champion this week, or the last couple of weeks, let's start there. He goes out, he starts agitating George St. Pierre to be a champion on Twitter, save UFC 206, sign the papers. George comes out and says, look, I'd love to fight you, but contract situation, it is what it is, it's not gonna happen. And Bisping says, okay, if no George, then give me Nick Diaz. And everybody says, oh, look at Bisping. Then Jacare Souza's fight with Luke Rockhold falls through, Rockhold injures his knee, and Jacare says, hey Mike, I'm ready, let's, let's do this. You're looking for a fight at UFC 206. What about me? I'm, I'm a worthy contender. And Bisping goes on UFC tonight, you knew he would address it, and his response is, well, you know, I'm kind of injured right now. I'm dealing with a fractured orbital, orbital bone. I had a little bit of a knee surgery. If it was George St. Pierre, I'd be ready to go, but when it's Jacques Array, I'm not interested. Is it the absolute worst move for a champion? Like, is that, is that the most shameless denial of a championship well, title fight request? It, it is, Spencer, <laughs> but I, I gotta say I'm not surprised, and I'm not surprised because UFC doesn't pay its fighters enough. And Michael Bisping is in a very kind of unique situation. He was not supposed to be the champion. He was supposed to be sort of a, <laughs> right. a sacrificial lamb for Luke Rockhold and pulled off a surprise win. And he's an older guy, and he's certainly capable of holding the belt. He's beat Rockhold. Uh, and, you know, there's guys like Weidman out there that people want to see him fight. But he's kind of picking and choosing. And if GSP is going to have a return fight, he wants that payday. Diaz sells <laughs> anything and anywhere. So he's looking for a payday because he doesn't know how many more he's going to get. So on one level, Spencer sitting here going, look, you're the champ. You can't just pick and choose your opponent. The second, why are people picking and choosing their opponents? It's because the UFC often treats these guys like crap. And this is why we saw Rory McDonald leave. This is why I think more fighters are going to consider going to a competitor because you're putting your brains and your body on the line. Considering fighting with a fractured orbital bone, Spencer, we're not, <laughs> talking, we're not talking about a strained hamstring. We're talking about a fractured orbital bone. So uh, part of me says, yeah, you know what, man, Mike, be a man, step up and fight whoever's available. But part of me also says, look, I don't blame him getting what he can get when he can get it. I don't know who else I'm going to watch. Ronda Rousey, same thing. When Ronda Rousey comes back, yep. she may be a shell of the fighter she was when she got destroyed against Holly Holm, but people are going to watch for Ronda Rousey. Are you? Because I remember going into some of those wow. latter Ronda Rousey yes. fights. It was, I'm not going to spend 60 bucks for well, 16 seconds. Well, that was because I could seconds. see the whole fight on Twitter. You know, <laughs> and now that Vine is Vine. dead, you can't. Yeah, no, but you said 12, 14 seconds, <laughs> I can see the whole fight. Why would I pay $70 for it? But again, that's about quality. Give me more than one fight. Right. And Dana White has been guilty of this, of sometimes taking the biggest fighter, knowing that people will pay that, right. and stuffing a bunch of crap on the rest of the card. Now, we've had some good ones. I know 200 was supposed to be a lot better prior to the injury. We got 205 205 is going to be big. 207 you know, will be big when Ronda there, does come. Back. Toronto is getting a card that doesn't look that great, and I think that's the issue. Give me quality. Now, we've had other pay-per-views where on paper it hasn't looked good, but right. the fights themselves have been super entertaining. But as, as good as I, as excited as I can get about a great fight, I like to have the emotional investment. Like, I know that fighter, and I either want them to win or lose, Daniel Cormier. Um, but, you know, that's what the fight game is. It's about creating personalities and having your emotional connection to it. And we'll be back next week to talk about UFC 205 on Friday Fight Talks here at the Province Sports. Subscribe to all of our Facebook Lives. We've got lots of sports content here. We regularly do these with the Canucks. We will be doing them now with uh, Fight Talk Fridays, but as we mentioned, because the holiday next week is on Thursday. It'll be but, Thursday. But subscribe, like, do what you need to do. Just get more Province and Vancouver Sun in your life.